Hey, how you doing? We're going to cover off image masks in Bricks Builder. You don't get that facility built in, but applying it into Bricks is actually really, really simple. So we've got a hero banner image here. And into here, I'm going to add a image in, say, between the headers. And we're going to add in like some wording that I've got from Canva converted into an SVG. And we're going to apply basically an image mask whereby the image is now replaced by the wording, but the image is inside the wording. But if you understand image mask, you'll know what I mean. And you can probably see it on screen as well. Let's go in and have a look. So over here we have our headers and I'm just gonna drop an image into the middle over here like that. In fact, the image has gone in the wrong place. Let's just pick it up and push it up. Then I'm gonna pick an image that's gonna sit in here. And I'm just gonna go for one of these here. I'm not overly bothered about the image to be honest. I just wanna show you how it works. So there we've got the image in. Now you can start to mess around with the sizing and all of that and style, but there is nothing on here to apply an image mask. Now what I will do though is rather than applying the mask straight away, I am going to add a little bit of control in because that is quite a big image. So I'm going to go over to style, I'm going to go to height, and I'm going to say make this be uh, 200 pixels in height. And obviously it's a bit squashed up now, so I'm going to go back to content and just say make it fit as a cover like that, okay? So again, I'm not overly first if it if the image was going to be bigger I probably wouldn't have done what I've just done where I've gone and set the height and all of that. But I just want to show you how if you just stick in an image and you don't set the height or the width even, it could be a lot bigger than what you actually intend it to be. Right, let's now get on to the image mask. We're going to go over to style and I'm going to give this, well, we've got to scroll down actually down to the CSS uh, tab. Click that and I'm going to give this a class name of Doom. Uh, don't ask me why, I just before I put doom in. Anyway, over here, we're then going to type in doom and I'm going to do open curly bracket. Now, here's the slight clever bit, really. You're going to drop in the URL of the image or the SVG to be exact. That will be the image mask. And then we're going to apply some settings like the position, whether it's going to be no repeat. Um, is it going to be a container or cover? And you'll understand that as I do it. But we will go a step further in how we can actually modify where it sits on the screen as well. First thing is WebKit mask image. OK, that's quite important. Now, if you've used CSS elsewhere, you might have got away with just doing mask hyphen image. I have found you've got to put in the WebKit, otherwise it just doesn't work. We then got colon in and then we are going to type in URL, open bracket, and then we're going to put in the double quotes or the speech marks or whatever you want to call it. Then we drop in the hyperlink for the image. So I'm now just going to open up another page over here by hitting in the B and I'm going to go over to media library and you'll see here the word doom which is an SVG image. Okay, it's about 1000 by 410 pixels. It did not need to be that big. It's just how big I went and created it. And over there, you can see the URL. So I'm just gonna copy that URL, paste that in, then put the speech mark in or the double quote, do the closing curl, or not curly bracket, the normal bracket, and then put the semicolon in. So you can see what it's doing there. Okay, hopefully that's clear on the screen. Yep, you can see what it's doing. And then just put the closing curly bracket. And now we have the word doom. So if I just hit save and we go over to preview that or look in another screen, you can see the word doom. And you can see now it's got the image masked over the SVG. Quite stylish, no? But there is a problem with that. Look at how the wording looks. I've set it to 200 pixels in height. I don't want it to be bigger than that, but it looks pretty awful. So let's go and adjust that. Let's go back over here. And before the curly bracket, we're gonna add in some further code like this. And I've cheated. I've just gone and pasted it in, okay? What we've got here is a WebKit mask position. So this at the minute has got center. First thing it's done is move the wording into the center. I could, if I want, go over here and type in left and it would be on the left. If I was to type in right, you pretty much can guess that it's gonna go over to the right. And you could also do bottom as well, but bear in mind though, that this is gonna kind of go right to the bottom and it might not give you the look you want. So I'm just gonna mo for now, leave this as a left. I will come back to revisit this in a moment, okay? Then we got WebKit mask repeat as no repeat. If you don't have this on, and I'll show you what you're gonna get, okay? You're basically gonna get this, okay? And it starts repeating. And if I had not controlled the height, it might have said doom, 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 doom all over the screen, all right? So let's put that back to be no repeat. If you're familiar, 
with image settings, with, you know, your position, everything I've got here, repeat and size. This will make complete sense to you. I will put a copy of this, except for the URL, which I'll just put, put in URL or .svg into the description. So you've got something to refer back to. Then we've got WebKit mask image. Now then, I'm going to just get rid of what we have here at the moment, okay? And I'm going to type in a uh, cover. So this is now a little bit like what you would have been seeing before where we only saw partial wordings. Look, this is what we got. Again, we're almost back to where, sorry, let me re refresh the page. We're only seeing bits of the word. You can't even tell that is the word doom yet. It looks a little bit something like interstellar, like try and work out what the wording is. Let's go back over here. If I was to change this to be contain, okay, that does give you the wording. However, you will have noticed that I went a step further. So rather than having cover and contain, I've gone and put in a value. Now, if I'm honest, I don't need to have this second one here because I've already set my image to be 200 pixel. But if you wanted to be really specific over the width and height, 500 pixel, the first number is your width. And if I had gone with 100 PX, that would have been the height. So this is where I've said the height of the image is 200 pixel, but I want the image mask to be 100 pixel. I'm gonna do something extra with the WebKit mask position. Currently that is set to left. Now, what if I was to go and do something like this? I go and put in 200 and pixel. It moves it or the image mask or the SVG we've got over it, 200 pixels away from the left. I could even, if I want, go with 50 pixel like that, but then that's a bit silly because now we are starting to eat into our estate. But if you had a bigger estate, you could actually do that. So now you move the wording or the SVG or the image mask to kind of be where you want. So again, this is another little tip on how you can do placement. But if you're not overly fussed by that, you can just type in left like that. It's a pretty simple way to do it. It's um, It'd be lovely if it was built into Bricks Builder. I have to be honest, I would love it if it was, but it's very, very simple. And a copy of this code will be in the description. I'm Imran Web Squadron. I hope you like, subscribe, share, and follow. And I'll see you soon. Never break, always fight, never quit, do it right, play the game, win it life, have no shame, there's no time, feel the pain, let the grind, I could change, in my mind, pick a lane, commit and climb, the only way, to win it life, I never miss that fact, taking big swings, bitch, hand me the back.